Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here with another episode of The Healthy Swap. And today's recipe, we are gonna do in a great take on the ever popular snack food, fair food, football game food, nachos. I'm gonna give my healthy take on how you guys can eat the nachos and we're gonna jump right on in. But before we jump right on in, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube videos so I know if these videos are doing you any good or if this is a content that you continuously wanna see. All right guys, let's hop it on to the kitchen and get started. So the ingredients that you need for the nachos are going to be a set of pico de gallo, some Monterey, and Kobe Jack cheese, you need cilantro chopped, some olive oil, and then of course you'll need your spices, right? So you need cumin, Himalayan salt, chili powder, garlic, dried minced garlic, and pepper. And then of course the star of the show, cauliflower. All right guys, let's get on in and start this recipe. Before we start this recipe is make sure your oven is preheated at 425 degrees. You need a sheet pan with either parchment paper or foil. Um, it doesn't matter which one, just whatever you have handy in your kitchen is what you wanna grab. All right, so you could do this two ways. You can do this mixing in the bowl or you can do it on the sheet pan. And so for today's purposes, I'm just gonna show you on the actual sheet pan. So what I like to do is take a little bit of that olive oil um, for sticking purposes and kind of like sprinkle it on the pan. And then you can take your hands, kind of rub it around. You don't need to do a whole bunch, but this kind of eliminates the sticking purposes. Then you wanna go ahead and dump um, your cauliflower, or what I like to call my chips, onto the parchment paper and the sheet pan. And then what you're gonna do is take some olive oil. And then we're just gonna kind of drizzle it all the way over and make sure everything is coated. Now, at this part, particular part, guys, you can do one or two things. You can use your hands, which I am such a fan of, right? Or you can use tongs to mix it. So I'm just gonna use my hands. And then only thing I'm doing here is just making sure everything is completely coated. We do want it to brown and give it a crisp. Then we're gonna take our spice blend and sprinkle it all the way over, over everything and then we're gonna give it a good mix again. So now that we have it at this state, two things, hands or tongs again. I'm just gonna take the tongs and give it a good mix. If you guys want to do it in a bowl, um, that's completely up to you too, or you can use your hands. But what you wanna do is make sure that your cauliflower is covered with all that good seasoning because a good nacho has some good flavors and this is a healthy nacho. So we're gonna make sure our cauliflower is seasoned because nobody likes bland chips. We're gonna drop this on in the oven for 30 minutes, and what you should see is the cauliflower is slightly golden and a little bit charred. So now we're at this point, your oven should still be on. What you're gonna do now is add all of your cheese, and you're just gonna sprinkle it on top, and just kinda make sure you spread it on out. This is going to go back in the oven for two to five minutes. And you only want this to get in here so your cheese can melt. We don't want it to cook anymore just to get your cheese to melt. Two to five minutes and we'll be right back. All right guys, we're back from the oven. That was super quick. And so now we are completely done with our cauliflower nachos. The best part of any nacho is the topping, right? So. My job, or I feel like my job is, is to give you healthy options when you wanna snack or you wanna have things on your nachos. So the things that I have today are pico de gallo and cilantro. But there are plenty other healthy options that you can use to top your um, nachos. Or you can just eat them like this because they're great either way. Or you can add sliced jalapenos, pickled jalapenos. You can add avocado, guacamole, however you want to uh, spice up your nachos, you can do that as well too. Salsa is really good. So let's go ahead and finish this out. So I'm just gonna take a couple teaspoons 
of, of uh, pico because this is my favorite. I eat this pretty much on everything. Don't be telling nobody though. Um, so we're just gonna drop that in little spots so everybody can get a taste of pico. And then to give it its final color and that great taste, I'm just gonna take some chopped up cilantro and give it its final drop. All right guys, there you have it. If you're needing the Super Bowl snack of all time and you're trying to stay within your resolution or your healthiness and you want healthy recipes, this will be a crowd pleaser. Just double or triple the recipe. Just make sure you're not overcrowding your pan and this will be a hit. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me for the Healthy Swap episode. Um, cheesy nachos and we will be back with you with another episode very soon. Talk to you later.